Right, I've met Kate Bosman in the um, Midlands of KZN, who's got a lovely Conqueror off-road trailer. And she's agreed to share me around. Hi, Kate. Hi. Right, um, how long have you had this one for? Uh, since 2019, good and few years. Ha happy with it? Very, very happy, yeah. We travel a lot with it. Uh, just you and your hubby? No, we have two kiddies as well. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so you've got space for them all. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I see you've got some tents on the side there for the for the youngsters, I presume. Yes, yeah, they like their own spot, but there yeah. is space for all of us inside if we need it. All right, so you're going to show me around the outside. Where do you want to start first? Let's start with the kitchen side. Okay. Um, what can you show me here? So over here is the pull-out section where we have our little uh, gas cooker. So we're able to do... Um, all of our gas that attaches nicely. Uh, we've got our ice machine here and um, all of our utensils that we use. Um, and then across on this side, we've actually got our sink and setup. Um, there is a pump where we're able to pump hot water and cold water. So we're able to do our dishes nicely there as well. Lots of storage space. And then at the back there is kind of our engine room, which tells us what is happening with our batteries. So you've got solar on here. We've got solar as well. And then otherwise you can um, plug into electricity if you are on a campsite. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start you, I'll ask you right from the beginning, what is the price of a unit like this? Uh, so it's around about new now, about 380,000 rand. Okay, so yeah. that's fairly expensive, that's quite expensive. But it's worth it, you think? It does, because it comes with everything. So you don't need yeah. to buy your fridges. You, you know, it's it's fully, fully ready to go and on the road. So as I'm seeing it here, it's as you got it. Yes, absolutely. All right. What else can you tell me about the outside? So we'll come around this side. This is kind of where we have a prep area. This actually unfolds right down and you can use this for sort of prep side, um, for storage, as you can see we've got here. This is where we keep all of our groceries. So, um, nice storage space for when you're on the road, it's all padded so nothing gets broken. And then these are two ammo boxes which you can also fill with extra groceries if you want to, extra clothes. Um, so, yeah, um, this section here is where we have our fridge freezer. Um, it's a 90 litre fridge, it comes with it. And again, nice area for storage. Can um, you open that up? Yeah, so on this side is the freezer that goes down to about minus five degrees. Yep. Everything's nice and frozen. And then on this side we have our fridge, but you can change them if you want to have two fridges, two freezers, um, you know, whatever you feel for from a catering side. Um, and if you've got your solar out, this fridge will stay cold with solar for about five days. That's quite a long time. Yeah. Okay, so the other fridge you showed me on this side, did that also come with it? with the unit so that's just an ice machine so oh, it's we, an ice yeah, machine so we just bring oh, that with okay. us so when it's really hot we can have nice cold drinks absolutely <laughs> yeah all right um, and then you've got a little drawer at the top here that i can see what is that this door here so yeah. this is just extra storage space so if you want to put in food in these ammo boxes or if you want to put in extra linen or whatever it is and there's the ammo boxes yeah yeah, so this is one of our, our special ammo boxes that we take everywhere with us um, and it is for our wine storage. So as you can see, it actually stores 10 bottles underneath there's another five and it's got this foam so you can literally throw this on the ground and your wine would be very safe. And this is supplied with the vehicle? Yes, that's correct. So all the ammo boxes come, you get four extra ammo boxes plus your wine box. And are they plastic? They are. Yeah. Okay, the ammo boxes that I'm used to are all metal, so it's uh, nice, it makes sense to see plastic yes. ammo boxes. <laughs> no, and that's a lot lighter as well. Then. Yeah, absolutely. Then obviously you've got a little bar section there, so you've got all your drinks actually strapped in with these little straps, so nothing breaks, and then the glasses at the top are also sealed with rubber, so they are 100% safe in there as well. Alright, so we're at the front of the trailer. Um, what can you show me here? So, which is great with the front section is really where you want to have all your big storage. So your tents, your ground sheets, everything can go into this section. At the back here, you'll see that there's two big caps. This is actually for the water system. So underneath the Conqueror is actually 170 litre tanks that store water. So you can just fill those up when you get to camp or you can travel with it as well. Um, if you come around the side, you can see we have 
um, the water tank system. So that's where the water pumps. There is a pump here that actually pumps the water to the front section where we do the washing up. And then you're also able to do a pop-up shower and, and run a shower if you want to. Um, we've got really nice um, uh, storage for water or fuel um, if you are traveling far distances. Um, this way around you can see we've actually got its own braking system as well which supports the vehicle. It doesn't put too much pressure on your own vehicle's braking system which is ideal for something that is a, a big weight like this. What is the weight of the train? Uh, about 1.2 tons. Okay, so that's pretty heavy. Yeah, so once it's fully loaded it does need to have its own sort of safety braking system as well. Mm. Yeah, and then this is for two gas bottles. So currently we've got one gas bottle at the front, yeah. which is for the uh, stove. And then the other is for the geezer, which is actually in here, which I'll show you on this side. Right. Right, so we've got our last, we've got our geezer here as well. So that is for hot and cold water. Um, it pumps to the front, so we've got hot water for doing the dishes. But then also if you want to pop up your own uh, shower, if you're off grid, then you're able to run in hot and cold water as well with that geyser. And where would you connect your hoses to? So basically your gas bottle um, is here. Your hoses, as you can see here at the front, is where you have your attachments for your water. Um, your hot and cold will go there and your pop-up shower will be right here. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. And did you get the pop-up shower with your system? Oh, yeah, it also she came with it. Haven't sure, sure, connected sure. it up. Okay. Yes, yeah didn't feel we needed to. Alright, what's next? So into the section here which is kind of our sleeping section. Um, this actually, this whole tent structure actually folds up and it folds onto the top of the Concro which is zipped up nicely and nice and secure. Yes. But once it's fully down you can see inside here we've got a, a two meter area inside the tent um, and then upstairs at the top there we have a king bed. Um, right. You're able to go up the ladders, yeah. Okay, so you've got another cupboard in here, have you? Yeah, so basically this is a, all your storage area for all your clothes. Um, the same at the top here is also where you can put ammo boxes for further clothes. Or you can also get this converted into a, um, a second drawer for more clothes as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so you can have a fair amount of clothes? Yes, no, okay. absolutely. Lots, lots of space. And then this is just a section for all of your toiletries. Again, if you wanted to pack linen or towels or whatever, there's more storage space. And again, this also folds up nice and neat and compact. Right, can you show me your upstairs bedroom section? Yeah, so basically this goes up to um, a king bed, which is up here. It all folds away neatly when it's packed. Mm. And you've got window area as well that you can also all open out if the weather is good. Right. Um, just to enjoy. And is that a double bed? It's a king-size bed. A king-size yes. bed. So big enough for two people. Yep, absolutely. Or if you've got little ones, they can also stay in here if you're worried about, you know, being in a bit of an unsafe area. Yes, so. and, and who sleeps on the outside side? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything to prevent you from falling off? I know that I'm sounding flippant, but it... Not at the front section here, but you kind of all sleep at the back where the pillows are. So, so which way do you, which way your head, is your head? The heads are at the, the right at the far end. Okay, so yeah. you don't sleep across the caravan, no. so nobody's going to fall off the No, 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 no. Right. You've got a, a three-quarter wraparound canopy as well around your unit. Can you show me that? Yes, so this is really uh, phenomenal to have. It basically um, travels the whole length of where you would sit in the day. Um, really great, all these poles actually fold back into the canopy um, so you don't have any loose poles hanging around. You can see it spreads all the way around to where the kitchen area is and plenty of room to sit. Um, they do have Velcro attachments so you can buy extra attachments if you want to seal this whole place in if you're concerned about weather, rain um, and, and wind. Did, did any side panels come with your unit? Not with this one, no. Um, that is what you, you, you do buy separately. And you don't have any problem cooking with wind and gas? No, um, you can get wind protectors that you put around the cooker if it is a concern. But most of the time it's something we work around or we actually just use the fire a lot more um, you know, than other times. Okay. So this is a, a pretty heavy unit. And what sort of axle does it have? So it has a military grade axle. Um, so it's very, very... Uh, weather uh, rugged for, for traveling um, off-road um, so there's no issues you can see the, the size of the tires as well so I mean we've been all over you know Botswana and in the dirt um, in sand um, and then the terrain is, is just fantastic so 
any vehicle that can go, your conqueror can go with you. Okay, so you've got a nice high clearance as well to get over those yeah. potholes and bumps that you just might find in South Africa and Absolutely. other countries. Right, and you've got a stabilizing system here that you mentioned that can be um, it can adjust your vehicle to just about any terrain, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so I think it's really important with a, with a weight of this sort of uh, camper that you have actually stabilizers. There's two at the back, you can see, so as soon as you put your wheel down... So how do, how do they work? How do so they... basically you just, um, there's a little uh, ratchet that you use to, to lift it off the ground. You can see it's extended down at the moment. It's a broad base as well, so it doesn't then sink in the mud and you just pull this out and it folds back into the vehicle when you're not using it. So mm. it makes sure that um, if you're on a bit of an angle or you're not sitting straight, you can raise one a little bit higher than the other. Mm. We've had two extra ones fitted on the front as well, just so that the whole um, suspension itself is 100% um, level and that we're comfortable and it's safe and secure. We always travel with our level as well. So you can put that anywhere to make sure that your vehicle is actually uh, sitting exactly how you want it to and it's an easy operation. Yeah, very to level easy. to level the, the yeah, vehicle very nice. nice. The lighting around the caravan uh, and inside the caravan is all LED I presume. Yes, so okay. we've got a lot of Heller lights. You can see one here. They actually swivel out. Uh, you can put them on at night. It's very easy to just unattach and just move them depending on where you're doing your cooking or whatever it is. You get different colored ones as well depending on what type of insects are in the area so if there's a lot of bugs and muckies you sometimes go with a more of a yellow led light versus this white light okay. um, but there are a number of settings that you can turn it down to as well and do you think those yellow bug lights work they, they do very much it actually <laughs> deters the bugs you can even get red ones if it's a really bad area so right all right well that's great i'm camped right behind you so I can see that you and your family are having a really great time. Yes. Enjoying this beautiful caravan park. Thank you very much for showing us around your Conqueror. And have a lovely, well it's actually New Year's Eve today that we're filming this. So <laughs> have a lovely holiday and everything of the best in the new year. Thanks so much, John. Cheers.